One thing that makes video editing really easy in Mixcraft is that it works exactly the same as audio editing. You can cut up clips and move them around any way you like. So for example, if I hit split and cut these two guys apart, I can move these clips around. And if I unlink the audio, I can move the audio separately as well, but I'm going to leave it together for now. And you can freely combine still images and video on the video track. So for example, if I stick these guys next to each other, this is a still image right here. And that's a video. And what's even better is if I move these on top of each other, they automatically crossfade just like audio. So you can see right there, this is the crossfade area. And you can adjust this by moving the edge of a clip. In this example, I'm just working with one picture and one video, but you can import as many videos and images as you like. The only rule is that they all have to remain in the video track. Once you're happy with your video edit, you can export it as an AVI or WMV file by selecting the File menu and choosing Mix Down To, AVI or WMV. We'll start by selecting AVI. And Mixcraft will ask you if you want to save changes made to your project, which is usually a good idea, so I'll select Yes. And now we can name our video. Then click Save and a video file will be made. Now if you look right here, you can see where it says Format Details, 1280 by 720, 59.94 frames a second. But if you're knowledgeable about digital video and you want to edit the frame size or frame rate or any other details, click on the Edit Details button here. And here you can change a lot of specific settings. Now we don't recommend messing with these too much if you're not familiar with how video works, but you can learn a lot about video sizes and resolution in the Mixcraft Owner's Manual or by going online and searching out video size and frame rate standards. You can also export as a WMV by selecting WMV in the menu. And again, there's a basic setup here, and you can click on the Edit Details button for finer settings. Now over here, this Preset Quality slider gives us a basic setting where you can set the general quality of the video with higher quality equaling a larger file size or a lower quality equaling smaller file sizes. These days it's not nearly as important as it used to be to make small files because most media outlets like YouTube are really pretty flexible with accepting large files. If you're knowledgeable about video formats and want to get more specific, you can hit Specify Settings over here and press the Settings button. And here you've got a lot of different parameters.